Hey there, today we're going to be having a look at a retrofit roller blind motor which is matter controlled from Zemi Smart. So a big thank you to Zemi Smart for sending me this device, but this is not a sponsored video, so all of the thoughts are entirely my own. So this device is a pretty nice looking device. It's designed to go alongside the wall and control your existing blind system. It can be used with a number of different chain or cord sizes, as you can see over here. It's really simple to install. You literally just screw two screws into the wall to mount it. And then there are a number of ways you can control it. You can either get one that's controlled via Google Home, Apple HomeKit, SmartThings, or Alexa. You would always require a thread border router in order to control this device. It can be controlled via voice using Siri. You can use manual control using the little wheel on the device. It comes with a remote control included, as well as via the app on your phone. And as you'll see, we can connect it to Home Assistant too. It's got a really good battery, 6,400 milliamp hours, which I believe will last at least up to about six months. Having a look at what we get in the box, we get three of these little adapters for different types of cords. We've got two screws with roll plugs for fixing the bracket up against the wall. We've got a little remote control, which has got an up, a down, and a stop button with a little remote or L red LED will indicate the pressing of the buttons. You can see here it's got a little magnetic back plate and they do include the button cell battery that goes inside of here. Next up we have the backing plate. So this is easy attached just by using those two screws. We have a little cover that's got our QR code. This just basically slides over and closes up the rotating wheel. Um, if we have a look at the device itself, it actually clips quite nicely into this back plate and you can see you can actually move it down and align it quite easily to get enough tension on the actual cord when you install it. Um, on the back side, we've got a couple of screws. Um, on the underside of the device over here, we've got a switch, a momentary or an on-off switch on this side, which is used for, um, pair, or not for pairing, but for adjusting the top and bottom settings of the blind. We've got a USB-C power supply for charging the blind, and we have the pairing button on this side over here. There is a little LED that comes on either red or green, depending on whether you're charging it or when it goes into the pairing mode. In the center of the unit over here, we have this device. And as you can see, when you turn it one way, it will start moving in the one direction. When you turn it the other way, it will start moving in the other direction. And if you press the button, it will stop. Now, there are actually three speed modes. You can see that we can adjust it across those different speed zones. So that's the device itself. It feels nice and solidly made. You can feel the weight of the battery in there. And overall, it gives me a nice feeling of a quality device. I have played around with a few of these in the past, and this is definitely the best one I've seen so far. Installation was really easy. I just screwed the two screws into the back plate, mounting it against the wall. Next up, you just slide the device in from the top down, and you'll hear it clicking into place. Now you take your selected little wheel that you've worked out which one you need, slide it into place there with the little cord strapped in there, and then you take your top piece, you just pull it down a little bit, click it into place there, as you can see, and then you take this cover over the top and you just slide that into place like that and it's all set to go. Next, you need to set the limits. Switch the little switch to the left-hand side, turn the device in the one direction, oops, not that way, the other way, set it to the top level. Once you find the level, press the stop button once like that, and then once again to program it in, and then turn it in the other direction until it reaches the top level, press the stop button, press it again, and then you can switch the switch the other direction and your levels are set. Next up, you press the pairing button, open up Apple HomeKit, 
add accessory, scan the QR code, add it to the bathroom, continue, and it's all set. So having a look at our device here in Apple HomeKit, we can open it up there so we can adjust it quite easily just using this slider. We can go into the controls over here. We can see here we've got the battery level. It's not charging at the moment. We've added it to the bathroom at the moment. We could include it in favorites if we wanted to. We could set up some automations within HomeKit or create some scenes within HomeKit. Now, I want to share this with my Home Assistant. So I'm going to go and turn on the pairing code and I'm going to copy this code over here. Next, I'm going to go along to Home Assistant and I'm going to go into Settings, Devices and Services. I'm going to add an integration. It's going to be a Matter device. Yes, it's already in use. Yes, it's with Apple HomeKit. I'm going to paste that code in there. Done. And we're going to add that device to HomeKit, to Home Assistant. Let's see how that goes. There we go. All set up within Home Assistant. And easy as that, we've got our open, our stop, our close. And then we've also got our battery level coming into Home Assistant. Isn't that cool? Now, unfortunately, there's no way to adjust the speed of the roller either within Home Assistant or within um, the Apple HomeKit. So overall, I think this is pretty good value for money at just under $100. It's going to give you a nice, simple automation for your blinds without having to replace the blinds. Easy to install. If you're a renter, you could adhere the product instead of actually screwing it through. So I'm pretty impressed. I think this is a great option. Zemismod are a pretty good supplier. I've had some great products that I've tested out for them, and I would honestly recommend this. Anyway, that's all for me now. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.